Hey guys, Seb from Wolfio here and in today's video I'm showing you how to easily set up your Facebook business page so you can get it set up so you can start monetizing in just a few minutes. So to get things started, what you want to do is head over to facebook.com and then sign in, whether it's your personal account or a brand new account that you've just created. And then what you want to do is click on this tab button right here, which is your menu, and then you'll see a bunch of different options. What you want to do is actually go under the create section and then select page. From here, you want to go ahead and add a bit of a description of what your page is going to be about. So if you want to create a page related to our business or our personal brand, then we can go ahead and do this here. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to create an identity for a photographer. So we're going to call them Josh Owens Photography. And then what we can do, we can also add a category. So because it's photography, we can go ahead and put photographer or if you're a photographer and videographer, you can do that. But we're just going to select photographer. And then here we can enter in the description. So it's always key to have a bit of information about who you are and what you do. So be sure to fill this out thoroughly so people can have a better understanding of what you do. So here you can see I've added a very brief description of Josh Owens, which is just a persona which we've gone ahead and created, but you can see it gives a bit of an insight of what kind of photography he shoots. Once you've done that, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on create page. So now that we've created the page, we now have the option to add our profile picture and cover photo. Now it's always good to add these as soon as possible because it just helps to identify who your person is and the cover photo is also a great way to kind of show what your page is about and what it represents. And you'll also notice that whenever we fill information in this page, we're going to get a quick update of a preview of what it looks like on desktop as well as on mobile. Now, one key thing I didn't mention in the description, it's always good to add your location just so people know where exactly you're based. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add our profile picture. So we're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop our photo in here as well as our cover photo. And then once that's uploaded, it's gonna automatically update in here. So now our Facebook page is already looking really professional. Once we've uploaded the images, we can go ahead and press save. And then this is gonna apply it to our page. Now it's going to redirect us to our Facebook page and it's also going to prompt us to add our phone number which is always an essential thing you want to do if you're trying to acquire new clients. So go ahead and enter in your phone number and when you do so it's going to ask you to send a code and then you're going to have to verify it. So because I'm just adding a fake number in here we're going to go ahead and skip this step but always go ahead and do that so then people can contact you very easily. So now the next thing I would always recommend you to do straight away is go ahead and create a username. So whenever people are looking to hire someone or a business, they're always going to look around on the internet just to kind of get a bit more of a social proof. So adding a username is just going to make it a lot easier so then people can find you across different platforms. Say for example, they found you on YouTube or your website, they might head over to Facebook just to see what kind of content you're creating on a regular basis to see if you are the right fit for them. So what we're going to do is create this username and we want to make it very similar to our page name so we can call it Josh Owens photography just like that and then it will tell us if this username is available and it is so we're going to go ahead and press create username and now what it's going to do is actually change this URL to just Josh Owens photography instead of Josh Owens dash photography dash a bunch of numbers so we're going to go ahead and press done and once we refresh the page you can see it's now changed it to Josh Owens photography so now this page is gonna be extremely searchable when people are searching for it in the Facebook feed. Now the next thing I'd recommend you to do is add your call to action button. So depending on what you're actually providing, whether you just wanna be a creator on Facebook or you wanna sell stuff on Facebook, then you wanna go ahead and add your button. And you'll see you have a huge list of buttons that you can select. For example, sign up or send an email, send a message, contact, book now, or even follow. So once again, depending on what your page is gonna be created for, you can select one of the options here, but we're just gonna go ahead and click on follow so then people can easily follow this page just because, for example, this is a photography page, maybe we just wanna create it so we can show off our portfolio and get people to follow us. So the next two things I'd recommend everyone to do when setting up their Facebook page is to scroll down a little until you see the set your page up for success. So I'm gonna give you a bunch of options that you can go ahead and complete. You can see we've added the description and all of that. So this section is completed. Here we've got five more steps. And then if we scroll down, introduce yourself or, or introduce your page, you can invite people. I'm just gonna give you a little of a step-by-step -step guide on things you can do to create your page just to give it a lot more awareness and reach. 
So go ahead and fill out all of this information so your page is completely set up and ready for success. And then the second thing I'd recommend you to do is actually on this left tab right here is scroll all the way down until you head over to settings and then go to the templates and tabs. So currently, whenever you create a Facebook page, it's gonna set the default template. But what you wanna do is actually click on the edit tab. And then of course, depending on the creation of your page, why you're creating it, you'll see there are a bunch of different presets that you can select. So if it's for business, you can go ahead and click on business. And what it's gonna do is change all of your tabs, which you see right here, to more business orientated stuff. But once again, if we're just a video page or we're a shopping page, we can select all of this and you'll see that it changes it. So it adds the shop button, the pictures and all of that. And for a video page, it'll cater it more to videos, so live videos, videos, groups, events, and all of that. So be sure to select your templates so it customizes your tabs so your visitors can easily identify sections that they want to locate faster. And lastly, before we finish this video, the number one thing you need to do if you are a local business is to add your phone number and your location because it's gonna make it so much easier for people to contact you as well as find where you're actually located. So again, if you haven't completed this section right here, you can easily find your location, your business hours and your phone number so people can get in contact with you or visit your local store very easily. And that's it. That's how to easily create your business Facebook page in just a few minutes. I hope this video did help you out. And if it did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. But be sure to check out the recent videos if you want to learn how to monetize your Facebook page because we've got a bunch of videos about that. So definitely check that out if you're looking to monetize.